guys and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. Today we will be designing another mask. Now this is a different shaped mask than I used before. I picked this one up around Halloween at um, Walmart. So you probably won't be able to find it, but you still might be able to find this online. If I see anything close to it online, I'll leave a link below. So um, if you're familiar with how I create these masks, then you'll know that we start with the junk meal. If you're new to this, then I'll leave a link below so you can see how it's done. Tonight it should be relatively simple. This is the first time I'm going to do this. I asked you all months ago if you'd like to see me bling this mask out using some mesh bling or some Dollar Tree bling. I do have some Dollar Tree bling, but I have plenty of this left too. It's the same thing. It's just on a wider roll. So what I'm going to do is use that. I wanted to use the fix-all to attach this onto the mask. But I can't find it, so I'll be using some E6000, and I have my back door open so that I can get in some fresh air. I have some popsicle sticks to spread it on the mask, and I have scissors to cut the bling. Now, this, guys, is my new favorite thing. This is Krylon Premium Metallic Original Chrome Paint. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. I put some fingerprints on here, but that's okay. But yeah, guys, this is really pretty. I'm going to try out some new things with this, but yeah. I'm really loving this chrome paint. So let's just set this aside. So I just sprayed the mask. So now what I want to do is just go ahead and get started. I just want to measure and see about how much I might need. I always cut longer than what I need. All right, so I'm just going to cut about here. And um, whatever I have left over, I always keep because I can always use it in another project. And guys, I always forget to ask you guys, how are you doing today? How's everything? How's life treating you? I hope everything's good. I hope you're well. Leave a comment below and tell me how you're doing and, and if you're working on any crafts. So yeah, guys, um, what I want to do is, I think I want to cut this in rows of two. Because I think it'll be easier to lay it. Like I said, this is the first time that I'm doing this and I hope it works out okay. Okay guys, so we have those cut. That took a while. Alright, so let's see where I want to start. I think I want to start right in the center. Like this. So let's just start there with the glue. Like I said, I would prefer to use some of the fix-all for this, but I can't find it, so we're going to start with this. And the reason that I'm not using hot glue is because it dulls out the background. You know how it turns white? Yeah, as I was saying about the hot glue, it actually dulls the background out because it turns white when it's dry. Look at how pretty that looks so far. Just like that. So I'm just going to continue to do the same exact thing until the mask is completely covered. So as you see, you might have to cut your bling in certain places just to get it to lay down right. All right. So now I'm going to do this side. Look at 
that. That's giving me some more ideas on some different styles. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm just going to keep going. So let's say we complete one side. So you can see how it's done. And then I'll complete the other side off camera. Come back and show you what it looks like. Alright, so let's see, we, we are here. I think I need to cut it right there. Add some more glue. Right under here. Can you see that better? So now I think I need to probably trim one row and go down here. I'm trying to hold it so you can see this. I'm just going to take this and run it down the side of the nose. That's really coming together. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I think I need one little piece to go here. If you decide to do this project, go with a pattern that works for you. You don't have to follow my same exact pattern. Like I said, this is my first time trying it with the bling. So, I'm trying to work it out. Okay guys, I'm going to let this dry for a while and take me a dinner break, come back and finish this side. After that, I'll go off camera and finish this side and then come back and decide if we want to do anything different with it. Okay, everyone, as you can see, I've completed half of the mask. So I'll just go ahead and complete the other side off camera, come back and go on with the DIY. Okay, guys, I'm back. And this is my finished mask. All I need to do now is trim out the edges, like this place sticking up here, just trim that out, or add some additional glue and glue it down wherever it's needed. I'll add some more bling underneath here once I glue it to this base. I made this base in an earlier video, and if you're interested in seeing how it was made, I'll leave a link below in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and glue it on this base like this. Now, you can also put this in a picture frame. I'll probably do another mask later on down the line to show you how to do that, but since I already had this base made, I'm going to go ahead and add it to this base. And to do that, I'm going to use some hot glue and some E6000. And the reason I'm using both is because I want a really firm grip. And it takes time for the E6000 to cure. So while it's curing, I'll have my hot glue to help hold. And once I glue this on, I'll go ahead and fill in any open spaces with this extra bling. And I finally picked up some more Fix All from Dollar Tree. So I'll be using that to add the bling underneath here. All right, so let's just get started. All right, so let's take some of the E6000. And as you can see, I put it right in the center of the top of the base. So what I'm going to do now is just take some hot glue and go around the outside of the base. All right. And once you realize where you want it, I'm going to hold it this way so I can... I want this to point here. All right, so just hold that in place until the hot glue sets up.
Okay, guys, just like that. So I'm going to let this sit for about an hour, and then I'm going to come back and add some bling underneath here just to fill in those open spaces. Okay, guys, I'm back. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I went ahead and added some bling in the open spaces underneath here. And I also drilled two screws in the top of the base. If you don't have a drill, you could take like a small nail and hammer and just tap it down if you want to make it more secure like I did. But yeah, this is how it looks, guys. What I want to do now is just to finish it off, just add a little bit more bling trim where the head meets the base like that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue and put it on the back. Just a very small amount. Put that on there. And you're done. It's on there pretty firm. Now who would think that you can make something this creative and beautiful? From Dollar Tree Bling and Junk Mail. Now, like my other two pieces, I might just leave it like this. I might feel different in the future and want to paint it. But right now, I like leaving it like this because, like I said before, I like seeing where it came from and where it ended up being. On one of my other masks, I added a teardrop, but I don't think I want to add one on this one. This one is different, and I want to keep it different. But yeah, I really like the way it looks. So yeah, guys, this is our Dollar Tree Junk Mail Mask. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so yeah guys you can display this anywhere in your living room in your bedroom you can even give it as a gift before I end this video I decided to give you a couple of ideas on how to add more interest to your mask here I'm using a feather board that I purchased from Dollar Tree you can just wrap that around and glue it on with some hot glue but I decided to add a butterfly to mine. And I'm just gonna use some E6000 and some hot glue. So yeah guys, this is it. This is the Dollar Tree Bling Mask that you all have been waiting for. I hope you enjoyed this DIY, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you have on the notification bell. That's very important, guys. And if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe now. It's free. I would truly love to have you join my YouTube family. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.